an undefeated 5-0 start, a Mayor's Cup victory, and a number one spot in the Missouri Class 2 rankings. It's easy to say the Paul Meyer Panthers are off to a decent start under head coach Kevin Miles. We take a look at what's going on over there in Panther country. Palmyra took back the Mayor's Cup after a 30-20 win over Monroe City Friday. Palmyra started slow but got going after senior Wade Bagley broke off two big runs, including a 35-yard touchdown. Um, yeah, I just thought it was a big momentum shift for us uh, since they scored first and we just tried to come out and get it going. It felt good. You know, we got down early, so we just had to try to come back. And come back they did, but that slow start is something head coach Kevin Miles once changed. We got to hit the ground running faster and just try to get game, get going sooner because we start as the season progresses. We're not going to be able to be down late in the game. We need to get out early and get out faster and try to play better early in the games. Palmyra has three running backs in Wade Bagley, Ross Arch, and from time to time Peyton Timbrick, who all have games with over 100 rushing yards. Having every single one of our running backs being able to have the uh, possibility to have over 100 yards rushing is just a huge confidence booster on our offense to be able to, if uh, the pass game is not really working out uh, that week, that we always have a run to look out to. So. The running backs aren't the only ones producing on offense. The Panthers have been successful throwing the ball, and quarterback Brody Limbauer has been able to run as well. And that's what makes us, you know, hopefully good, and that's what hope, hope us to keep being successful is just having that three-headed monster to do all those type things. And as Brody gets more and more familiar and more and more comfortable back there, he can start making adjustments on the field as he started to do Friday night. Now, Palmyra is ranked number one overall in Class 2, but they know what comes with being ranked at the top. As neat as it is, and we are very humble and very honored to be ranked number one team in the state, you know, it, it, this doesn't really mean a whole lot. I mean, it's it's a great honor, but we got to win every week. And, you know, every week you got to show up and you got to play teams. And really we tell our kids it just it puts a bullseye on your back. And, uh, you know, you have to show up now and play even harder. You definitely can see every team's wanting to take off the number one seed. I mean, that's just across the board for any level of uh, football. So. The number one Panthers are set to hit the road this upcoming Friday as they pay a visit to 3-2 Clark County.